Overwhelming fixation, obsession, and praise over another person is a dangerous circumstance. A lot of us have probably experienced this beforehand, whereby we are utterly drawn, captivated, and intrigued by someone's presence or existence. So much so that we just can't help ourselves but to engulf our own minds with glittering admiration over them. And we all know what admiration means. We secretly either want to be like them, or in this particular case, we want to be associated with them in a certain way. Human beings cultivate great levels of desire, not just for the circumstances that we can't have, but also for the circumstances that greatly stimulate our imaginations. Because they make us feel unusually excited and be possessed with restlessness. The greater the scarcity, difficulty, and fascination, the more intense and unwavering the temptation for pursuit and possession will be. And in this case, obsessing over someone will inevitably and relentlessly incentivize you to want to capture their attention, validation, affirmation, and yes, even intimacy just for yourself. You will go to great lengths, even going out of your own way or sacrificing your own personal objectives, productivity, dignity, and self-respect just to try to please or impress them into the same intrigue and fascination level as you have towards them. You will unconsciously expect them to have the same level of lustful obsession and admiration towards you as you have towards them. This is where your imagination will run wild as you start to idealize your thoughts towards fantastical irrationality fueled by the burning taste for venereal conducts. However, this is also where you will unintentionally drive them further away from you. Because most of us irrationally believe and feel that intimate reciprocation is as transactionally certain as exchanging goods and services with money. The more you pay, the more you will get, right? The more you spend resources onto someone, the more you do things for someone, the more they will reward you for it, right? Well, no. Unfortunately, that's not how human being works. We're not mindless robots that only take orders and cannot make our own decisions. You cannot control someone else's desire and interest over you. You see, showcasing an overwhelming level of obsession, fixation, and admiration towards someone is the same thing as trying to forcefully chain or imprison them into doing what you desire them to do without their own individual decisive consent. You're not trying to capture their attention and intimacy, or win their attention and intimacy, but instead you're trying to rest their attention and intimacy into submission, trying to endlessly text them or call them into responding to you, or resolutely trying to cut them off of their way just to fix their eyes involuntarily onto you. They will inevitably feel both physically and mentally uncomfortable and eventually threatened or terrorized, because you're improperly crossing their boundaries and also denying them the much needed time and space to process their own thoughts and feelings about you privately. You're basically bullying or tormenting them into rushing their decisions against their own will. When your entire mental bandwidth is expended only on one particular thing, you will make sure that it is worthwhile for your efforts. And that is where your agitative and unempathetic insistence will backfire on you. Plus, you drowning them with compliments and gifts will not produce anything different, as you're simply showcasing your lack or absence of personal direction towards life and making them feel inappropriate and undeserving. Since they never have to do anything or exert any form of effort in order to earn your complete attention and intimacy, they will feel indifferent or meritless because your attention and intimacy is simply worthless to them, while you will feel the complete opposite as their attention and intimacy means everything to you and it makes you feel most worthy. Why does this happen? Simple, because you're so unbelievably and desperately easy to get. Those who appreciate and cherish more are those who needs the other the most. Desperation is a sign of convulsive and frantic vulnerability, a hopeless and distressed level of lack that a person will both spellbindingly and unethically pursue just for the sake of it. People are not necessarily afraid of it, but more appalled and revolted by it, as it showcases a person's impulsive and very vivid unresolved issues, callous and inconsiderate mannerism, and their incapability to determine or impose an organized resolve towards any meaningful and respectful direction or decision in their lives. Basically, people regard you as a creep or a bastard member of society that they don't and won't give their respect and empathy to. The only people who will reciprocate your lusting desperation are those who are also equally desperate themselves, and those who are looking to utilize you for their own pleasure and or advantage. Which, let's be honest, desperate people are foolishly willing to become one. Some of the ways to avoid desperation over someone is to firstly, vividly identify what really matters towards your livelihood. Your fetish fantasy will only momentarily satiate you until real-world problems decide to knock on your door, and it will only amplify those problems significantly, because your attention and concentration are unevenly and unproductively distributed. Secondly, make sure you're not abstaining or isolating yourself from social interaction for too long. 
People require social contact in order to satiate our innate need for communication and intimacy. As prolonged isolation will only amplify your lust for physical touch and emotional conformity. And thirdly, is to immediately distance yourself as far away as possible and remove all possible access both online and offline. To those individuals that lasciviously and obscenely captivates you in order to prevent your fantasies and fetish from running rampant and temptingly incentivizing that uncontrollable obsession. I get it. There are certain individuals who possess insatiable physical aesthetics and an addictive and adventurous demeanor. But you mustn't get comfortable with just the outer skin. You have to peel what's underneath that wild attitude. And usually they also have an underlying issue which oftentimes involves either a materialistically spoiled but restrictively confined background and or a paternally forsaken and misguided background. Unfortunately and realistically, for most people, they just can't help it and will need to experience the consequences themselves in first person. Usually their careers and other objectives deteriorate or falling apart in order to cultivate a defensive response. Thank you for watching.